Hi, this is Tim. One of the most difficult things when connected to a PLC is figuring out what programming cable you need. So let's talk about that. Note that this is an excerpt from a live stream, so it is not perfect. But after that, we need a cable to connect to it because in the case of the Slick 504, I'm sorry, this is, yeah, this is a Slick 503. And this is the one that really famously can really um, hurt you is this looks like an ethernet port right here but this is not an ethernet port this is a 485 port that happens to use the same connector as ethernet and then we have this bottom one here and so for the top port we would use this 1747 uic That's too many hands so i'm going to go ahead and get this out of my hand but it has a connector on it that looks just like ethernet but it's not. And this is not just a connector. This is actually a protocol converter also. So this is going to, um, this uses DH45 protocol. And typically the RS-232 is going to be DF1. So that takes care of that part. But then on that slick and also say on this MicroLogix, we have this 9-pin connector here. And that is what we typically would call a serial port. And so people are like, well, I need a serial cable. Well, there are a, I don't even know how many combinations of serial cables are out there, but there are numerous cables that you can call a serial cable, but they have different pinouts. And two examples of those are going to be, good grief, I just had all these laid out in RE. You know how it is with cables? You lay them out, they're going to end up somehow tangling themselves. Oh my goodness. Amber's over here laughing at me. She sees me struggling. She's like, ah. There we go, finally. But if you look at these two cables, well, aside from the color code, which kind of helps me remember which one's which, this is a, one of these is a 2711NC13. The other is a 1747 CP3. But if you look at them, they're identical cables, but they won't work. So I can plug the NC13 cable into this Micro Logix 1400, and I can try to go online all day. It's not going to work. The CP3 is going to plug in exactly the same, and it will work. So you've got to know which cable you need. And let me grab the right cable now. And really, one of the keys to understanding how to, um, to know, or really knowing which cable is, you know, ask them whoever you're buying the cable from. So if you will buy your cables from a reputable place, then you will probably get some help connecting. And we do. We have instructions. And actually, they work with all of our competitors' cables, too. So if you bought a competitor's cable, you probably can use it. But, uh, oh, let me catch up on chat a little bit. Yeah, I got Jeff there. Let's see. What makes an Allen Bradley better than another PLC? Uh, that's kind of like asking which um, automotive manufacturer makes a better car. Uh, it's, it's a lot of preference there. Great to see you there, Dave Griffith. And also, um, we did have a few people last time ask. They said they couldn't find the chat window. So if you went with the links, you're probably on this screen right here. Well, actually, I haven't even clicked in. But uh, so you're probably on a screen that looks like this. And if you will just look down, you've got this YouTube icon right here. And if you'll click it, that's going to take you to the actual live stream. Because, you know, if you remember the power of failure incident, uh, we had to change up really fast. So this link right here, I can just change which streams in it. But here, once you get here, you're going to have the chat over here. And while you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you notice there's a TW in the bottom right corner, if you'll just click on it, you'll see the subscribe here. And yeah, hit that like button on this video while you're there. That really helps us out. But okay, first let's talk about connecting our 1747 or our serial cable. And we're going to do that with this MicroLogix. And it actually would be very similar. Now, a lot of people will say, well, that's an older cable. Well, yeah, it kind of is. But there's a lot of times that we need to connect over something like serial. So this is a Micro 850 PLC. It's a modern PLC. And you'll notice it's got a serial cable. Now it has the round connector. 
And that round one is going to be our 1747, I'm sorry, a 1761 CBL PMO2. That's going to be the round one. You're going to find it on a lot of your MicroLogix PLCs. And you'll also find it on many of your modern PLCs. Click here for our free Allen Bradley PLC lessons. Till next time.